How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings. Here with a little bit of vintage iron. We've got a real nice Toyota Tundra here. This happens to be a 2003 model. It was brought to us suffering for from a condition of PLO. That's poor light output. It had no factory fog lights and a standard halogen H4 headlight in the housings shown. Customer asked us if we could supply him with some really good amber fog lights, some yellow fog lights there for the snow, and increase the headlight by swapping to an LED bulb, which we did. What we're featuring down there is a Diode Dynamics SS3 in yellow. Now, there's no mount made for the 03 Tundra. There are mounts made for the newer ones, but not for this one. But I was able to utilize the factory fog light bucket and the included universal mount the it's like a just a bale mount with the round set of lights and bolt it right through the back we also added in an led retrofit headlight set on the uh h4 high low beams above it in just standard white here you can see the led headlights off the angle a little bit now the headlights were a little bit trickier they uh they have a rubber boot and i was able to kind of turn the boot inside out and fit it over the new LED headlight. It's a real tight fit. Uh, I'm gonna say I removed the airbox and also the battery to gain access, or not the battery, the radiator overflow tank I removed, or the battery would work too, just to get access to the back of that headlight a little easier. And uh, you turn the boot inside out and uh, it will cover it up. But as I said, it's a very extreme tight fit. Here's a little close up of the uh, LED headlight. When you install the LED headlights, you wanna make sure that the, it's vertical and that the light is shining out to the sides, okay? The LED sh chips should be facing this way and this way, and the light should be primarily vertical, and then it'll have the best performance. Down here, you can see that Diode Dynamics SS3 Amber Fog. I keep saying uh, amber, I mean yellow, that, uh, that's what I'm referring to. As I said, we ordered the round version, and uh, you can get them right here through Wicked Warnings. Just email in or check the links in the descriptions. And uh, we bolted it right through the back and ran the wiring up to our own switch. Here in the cabin of the truck, we had a blank right here, which is a great spot to put in our amber illuminated three-quarter inch switch. We put that right in there. And we used an add a fuse to tap into the accessory fuse right here in the panel. And uh, it was very easy, very quick to wire that in. All right, I know everybody wants to see the wall shot, so uh, here you go. These are the SS3s in the shop. Nice wide beam pattern. The aiming did take a little finagling, I'll admit. I put them in first, and then I had to pop them out and readjust them. At first, they were a little bit low for my taste. Now they're a little bit higher. They're going to cast down the road a lot farther. You can see there's the headlights. Definitely got a big bright presence right above the fog light. So I'm happy with the results. There's a nice low ISO shot of the front of the truck, how it's going to look. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for emergency lighting, construction and strobe safety lighting and equipment, vehicle accessories, auxiliary lighting, and custom wiring, just as you see here on this 2003 Toyota Tundra. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.